Hey everyone, I am finally back on my YouTube channel. Um, sorry that I've been MIA for the last few months. Um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you've probably picked up by now um, that I have had a lot of things going on. So, I thought I would have my relaunch of my YouTube um, with this video and I thought that I would do something really different and really open and really raw and just chat to you guys about, um, as the title suggests, my breakup story. So I definitely am not someone who generally posts a lot of things about my personal life or wants to bag anyone or put anyone down. That's definitely not what this video is about. I just really want to be open and honest. Um, a little while ago, or last week actually, um, from when I made this video, I did a little Instagram story, um, just having a chat really about what's been going on and how I've dealt with everything and I had a really great response from it so I thought that what better way to try and reach more people um, than do this video for you guys and yeah, um, just be really open and real with you guys so this isn't scripted, I'm just going to throw it out there and um, start from the beginning. So I'm sure that most of you guys would have seen um, last September I got married, so it's now the 1st of May. Um, so that's now almost eight months ago that I got married um, and I am only 26, so I guess that's not that young to get married, but in the scheme of things it is um, still a young age. So I had been with my partner for eight years. Um, yeah, it was would have been eight years in December. I guess it's kind of hard to explain what really happened. No one did anything wrong, no one cheated, um, nothing crazy like that. Usually, I guess, when you get together with someone so young, um, you know, you might last a few years, but to last eight years is pretty rare, I'd say, from that age. Not to say that we were something amazing and better than anyone else, but just saying that, you know, at such a young age, there are definitely things you learn about yourself, um, about each other, and just about relationships in general. So... For me, I didn't see it coming at all. Um, you know, I thought I was as happy as could be. I had found the love of my life. We had gotten married. I had started my own business. Everything was going really, really great. Then it kind of just went downhill from there, I guess. So things definitely happen when you least expect it. Um, but uh, looking back at it now, I... I'm grateful that it happened um, so you know we made the decision to part our separate ways uh, obviously I, I wasn't the person to initiate the conversation to begin with but um, after I had time to think about it and really think about what I wanted with my life and who I was becoming and who I had grown into I definitely agreed um, we have just grown apart, we are on separate paths and we, yeah, just want different things for our lives. It doesn't mean that we're bad people, um, but, you know, I am disappointed in myself because to me marriage does mean something and I never had the intentions of getting married to then separate and especially not so soon after, so it was probably only five months after that everything kind of started happening. Um, and to begin with, I was a mess. I locked, I didn't lock myself, but I didn't go to work. I just spent time in my room, like, bawling my eyes out. You know, it was really hard. Um, but I gave myself about two weeks to cry it all out, and then... I just had an epiphany and was like, dude, you got to get out of this. Yes, it sucks, but being upset isn't going to change anything and it's probably only going to make things worse. So I picked myself back up. Um, it was a really difficult time because we have a house together. So at this stage, I was still living with him in the same house, but not 
actually being with him. So I pretty much just threw myself into my business. I surrounded myself with my amazing friends and a whole heap of positive people. Um, and to me, that's really what got me through, I guess, to have something to focus my time on, something I was passionate about, something I wanted to do. Um, it's really, that's where I focused all my energy on. So I didn't have time for being sad or <laughs> feeling sorry for myself. And um, to me, I think that was something that played a massive role in helping me. And it also was a massive role in helping me actually understand my feelings towards the situation and to my partner. So like I said, we have grown apart, um, we're not the same people we were eight years ago and now looking back on it, I definitely see that. So I think when you've been together for so long, you think that what you have is normal um, and that you're happy and you want to believe that. And especially being married, you definitely want to believe that. But looking back at it now and how far I've come with my goals in my life, in my career, and me as a person, I am so happy now. Not to say I wasn't happy then, but it's hard to explain, I guess. So I'm probably going to keep rambling in this video, but I'm really just laying it all on the line and trying to tell you guys how I feel and hopefully help someone else who might be going through something similar. So I guess the way that I got through everything was positivity. Um, it sounds really cliche, but honestly, thinking positive thoughts. So this is what my daily routine looked like. Once I was like, right, get your shit together, move the fuck on, as in, you know, move on with your life. Being sad is not going to help your situation at all. Yes, there is... There are times that you always need to have your emotions and feel your emotions and feel them. But I had given myself two weeks um, and for me I felt like that was long enough. If I kept going any longer I was just going to go even further into this downward spiral. So I started um, a, mo a morning routine every morning. I would wake up at least half an hour earlier before I normally would need to. I would meditate, so guided meditations are awesome. I'm still trying to get the hang of doing meditation without um, the guided meditations, but it is quite hard for me because my mind um, is always going, so it's really hard for me to kind of zen out. But I would wake up, do a guided meditation. Um, I would then have affirmations, so if you guys aren't aware of affirmations, they are pretty much a statement of things that you want to obtain or things that you want to be. Um, so I had a list of those things. They Some of them were business related. Some of them were just um, statements of who I wanted to be as a person. I would actually say them out loud. So saying them out loud or saying them in your head, uh, they're two, two completely different things. So I would say them out loud. Um, I would then visualize how I wanted my day to go you know, from how much work I was going to get done at work, how much work I was going to get done on my business, what I was going to do at the gym. Um, and then I would read from a little book of um, sayings, I guess. And it's actually called Soul Food. So every page is just a little paragraph of um, something positive or motivating to read. Um, and then the last thing I would do is I would write a full page in my journal of all of the things that I was grateful for. So for me, beginning my day like that in such a positive way, it was really, it was actually amazing to me as to how hard it was for something to bring me down for the rest of the day. Um, yes, I'm human and there would be moments where I would break down um, and, you know, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on with my life um after all of you know giving yourself to someone and thinking that you're going to be with them forever there are definitely still dark times but 99% of the time um since I focused my energy on my business and practicing um this routine every morning it really 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 helped I guess with social media there are a lot of things that 
can make something like this a lot harder. So there are people who don't know you asking you questions or sending you messages. And um, like I said, I'm not the type of person to bag anyone or put things so publicly about my life. So I wasn't going to make a massive statement. Hey, I'm getting a divorce or I'm separating from my partner. Um, but, you know... I think after time, it's okay to talk about it. So like I said, it's almost been um, maybe four months since everything started happening. And I am in a really good place to talk about it now. So obviously, I don't get emotional about it anymore. Or maybe I'm just the ice queen. Nah. I'm just in a place where obviously I have spoken about it so much with my close friends um, that it's really... Um, it still affects me, I guess, but not in a negative manner. So for me, my headspace right now is that everything happens for a re reason. And like I said, I feel like, yes, I thought I was happy, but looking back on it um, now, I know that I wasn't happy with... I wasn't unhappy, but I now that I know... <laughs> how happy I feel now I definitely wasn't happy then and I know that I would never be the one to um, break up with my partner especially if I thought I was happy so I think this was the universe's way um, of kicking me up the butt and pretty much saying well no you're not actually happy so you need to get out of this um, so the universe does work in weird ways and I definitely think everything happens for a reason. Um, I am so much happier now um, with my life than, than I was and I guess I just feel grateful for everything that has happened because it's really made me into the type of person I am now. So I'm not really sure if this video will make my much sense to people um, but I really just wanted to put it out there and I wanted people to know I guess kind of see a little bit of the real me and I really just wanted to make this video to reach out to other people who might be going through the same thing um, even like on your darkest days or when something like this happens to you I know that it feels like it's the end of the world I, I get that I do because that happened to me um, but you need to just Keep positive um, and keep in mind that the universe does always have your back and it's keeping you on the path that you are meant to be on. Um, and just look at it as a lesson. So everything is a lesson. Um, if I hadn't have been with my partner for eight years, then I wouldn't be who I am today. He taught me a lot about myself and I feel like he has taught me to be a really, really good person and a great partner. Um, so there's always a positive out of a negative but yeah that is pretty much my story and i just hope that someone can take something away from this and i can help someone even if it's one person um then that would be really great for me that's what i feel like i've been put on this earth for my passion and my purpose is really to help other people whether it be um you know in their health or just chatting to them or something like this um, you know that's what I feel like my purpose is so if this helps at least one person out there then um, I'm totally okay with that but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this I guess I'm not really sure if it's a video you can enjoy but I'm hoping that you guys did and please leave any comments below for any other types of videos that you'd like to see because I will definitely be kicking myself in the butt and being more regular with my YouTube videos. Um, so I hope to talk to you guys soon and um, have an amazing day.